Hi everyone, Jason here from Off The Beaten Path and um, today's video is about something that I'm adding to the car. So let's have a look at that. So still in the office here and um, yeah, just thought I'd show you this in the box. Uh, this is a Zolio, which is uh, a satellite communicator as it says on the box there. So basically um, this has a GPS uh, built into it. It's a little bit similar to the Spot 3s that you've probably seen uh, that are, and Spot 4s now that have been around for a little while. Um, this links to an app on your phone which allows you with a subscription to then um, send text messages and what have you um, back to your close contacts list. Um, and it also allows people to uh, on your contacts list to download the app and if you share your location with them to see where you're at. So I'm um, planning to take this for a test run soon, but mostly bought this to use on the upcoming trip across the Simpson Desert, um, in addition to the uh, that we uh, always carry in the vehicle with us. So let's get this open and have a look. So once you get the uh, outer plastic off, um, there's some tape that end and also some more tape that end. So. On the back of the box there gives you a little bit of a snapshot of um, what it can do, two-way messaging, um, GPS location, 200 plus hours of battery life, 100% global SOS function as well, a little bit like an EPIRB, um, and a bit of a snapshot there of the app with uh, chatting and messaging. So let's get a look at the device. So the box inside there is a little bit like a mobile phone box. It's kind of stacked on itself. Um, here is the actual device. I really got to get myself a basic stand anyway for the camera, but um, yeah, so there it is. One click button, the SOS button there, you flip that up to access that. I think it's child proof. There you go. So that's how that works. Uh, so yeah, it's quite a quite a neat size unit. You know, smaller smaller than my hand really. Um, and you've got a charger here and a carabiner um, that comes in there, as well as what looks like a manual and some stickers. Stickers are always good. Um, quick start guide. Looks like a quick start guide in a couple of different languages there, one of which is English. Always good. Um, so I'll get this thing plugged in, charging up, and we'll go from there. In terms of charging, it's got the port there that's covered by a little weatherproof rubber flap. So um, these are designed these are designed to be fairly weatherproof uh, when you're using them in the outdoors. They can get a you can get a carry cradle for them that'll sort of clip onto your backpacks or what have you. But really, I'll be using this in the vehicle. So I've just got it charging there off my USB hub on my laptop. Um, it's amber, I'm going to guess without, you know, I've done what everybody does, haven't read the manual yet. Um, there's a little piece of paper um, that was wrapped around it that says charge, activate, install the app. So I'm just kind of following this as a super quick start guide. So I plugged it into charge. I'm going to guess that it turns green. Um, that, that light up there turns green when it is charged. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, it's actually charging there, just having a quick look at the quick start guide. It's a little bit glossy. Uh, tells you what's inside the box that we've already seen, carabiner, the actual unit. Um, it then gives you a bit of an overview of where the power button is, the message LED to tell you you've got a message, check in and, you know, all the different uh, features. It then talks about getting charged getting started which is basically a copy of the graphic that was on the piece of paper it was wrapped in saying charge it activate it and then install the app um, charging the Zolio uh, communicator um, now this is making reference hmm, must be connected to an active USB charger prior to first use um, Interesting. I don't believe. No. So, in the box with my Zolio, there was no wall adapter. So maybe that's something that you get in other countries. Um, it certainly was not present in the box here. 
So moving right along. Uh, so you go on to the website there by the look of it to activate um, and choose an airtime time plan. Very good. Um, and then install the Zolio app from either the Google Play Store or the App Store. Um, and that pairs. Then you can set up your smartphone or tablet. And that's basically it. So look, this looks pretty simple. Um, time will tell if it's as simple as uh, it appears. Uh, and I should have said this earlier in this video, shout out to Dave, who, um, you know who you are, Dave, if you're watching this, um, for recommending this to me in the first place. So I bit the bullet and bought one. So here we are on the Zolio website, just zolio.com forward slash activate. First thing that comes up is choose your country or region. So we'll choose Australia, New Zealand. Okay, do I already have a Zolio account? No, I do not. So let's create an account and activate. Personal information. All right, so I'm gonna blur some of this out, of course. Okay, so we've got our account created. All right, so the next thing it asks for, okay, interesting, is the IMEI number, which is conveniently printed on the back of the Zolio. Um, All right, and I'm not going to show you the whole IMEI number because apparently you're not meant to. But you get the idea, they're all unique. And we have a serial number as well. <clears throat> I guess they really want to make sure they've got the right device. Let's uh, just double check that IMEI. That all looks good. Device nickname. Email address off the beaten path at solio.com okay all right so this is where you pick your plan um, 25 satellite messages additional messages at 65 cents a message so that's $32 a month um, cellular and Wi-Fi messages, satellite SOS. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, we just got a pop up there of a $40 activation fee and a three month term commitment applies to all activations. After three months, you may deactivate or suspend your service at any time. So basically, um, you're committing to either three months at $32, so $96 plus $40. Um, so on top of the purchase price of the device, which I picked this up for 324 bucks on a club discount at Anaconda. Um, so on top of that, you're looking at committing to another 150 bucks and three months of activation um, when you first buy it. 
look, to me, this is still pretty cheap insurance and I just think it's a really good idea. Um, and I think, um, you know, obviously there's 10 times the messages in the in-touch um, sort of um, plan, but I don't think we need to go to that. I haven't had this before, so um, 25 messages a month. Um, let's give that a go um, and I guess, you know, look at 32 versus 55 at 65 cents, 10 more messages at an extra $6.50. 20 or an extra 13 bucks um so you know you're not going to get to 250 but you're going to get a fair few more so let's let's just stick with the basic yep we accept your terms and conditions very good okay looks like we're going to click next location share plus Automatic location sharing with your checking contacts. Okay. So the location sharing feature, which was one of the main things that I was really keen um, to have for this device, is actually an extra eight bucks a month. So I actually thought this was already included. Um, so there you go, trap for young players. Um, so basically what this is, is you can, you can set an interval um, every six minutes up to every four hours. Uh, you do that through the app or the account portal. Um, uh, you turn it on manually when you're heading out on a trip and it will automatically send location updates. Um, you know, this is something that I'm pretty keen on. Uh, I do a lot of trips solo still. Um, Sharon comes on a fair few trips when she can and I, I drag friends along on others, but I still do a lot of solo trips. Um, so, you know, basically, if, so, if Sharon or someone else can log in and see that I'm actually moving, then I'm, I'm probably okay. If I've been sitting in the one location and it's not night time for 12 hours or something, there's probably a problem. Um, so, okay, let's have a look. So up to five of your checking contacts can get these updates. Um, they can view your location on breadcrumb trail um, and they'll be notified uh, in the app Okay, so yes, we're going to turn this on at seven ninety five a month. Um, so again, this is probably for me. Take the monthly plan, take the cheap one, and add this feature. I think this is a really good feature. Um, assuming that you're looking at getting a Zolio to actually notify close friends or family of where you are, and so they can see that you're okay. All right. So SOS contact. Um, so the other thing I guess I'm thinking about is I've got the EPIRB, do I need that in addition to this? And look, there was a really good video that was done by um, a guy whose name is Casey. I might put a link up somewhere if I can recall that difference between something like a Zolio and an EPIRB. They do do slightly different things. Um, the EPIRB has no ongoing subscription to it, so look, I'm probably not getting rid of that anytime soon. But um, yeah, well, um, all right, let's uh, let's put some contacts in here, which again, obviously, I'm not going to um, share these details. Okay, so the check-in, as I understand it, is, um, is something that you do manually. You, you, you push a button on the app to say, yeah, look, I'm okay, I'm still still traveling or whatever the case may be. All right. And look, I probably, this has taken me a little while, but I'll probably edit this down and make it shorter. Okay, what's happening now? Okay, now it's time to part with our cash. So, okay. So, this is billing me 80 bucks today. Um, and so that's the, the basic monthly subscription of $32 a month, the one-off activation fee of $40, and then the location share of uh, $7.95 a month. So basically, I'll be paying 40 bucks a month going forward for the basic plus the location share 
Um, and all right, payment method looks like they only offer credit card payment as well. So no PayPal, no Bitcoin, not that I have Bitcoin, um, no anything. Um, all right. Okay, so I'll receive um, an email when it's activated, confirming my IMEI and my email off the beaten path at Zolio. So we'll see how that works. Before I use the Zolio, I need to download the Zolio app. So let's do that now. So just jumping onto the phone, onto the Google Play Store. So the app is verified by Play Protect, as you might expect. It's 34.6 megabytes, downloading and installing pretty quickly. Hi everyone, okay, so um, wrap up for the Zolio. Um, what do I think? Um, you By now, this is the tail end of the video. You've seen me go through and do the setup. That was actually pretty easy um, and pretty happy with that. Uh, and I've actually had the, the opportunity to road test this. Uh, one of the things that I was wondering is because when I do trips, I have my phone linked via Bluetooth to my GoPro cameras to control them. And um, I wondered if this would, would actually still work um, once um, it didn't have connection with the phone. And I can report that it does. I'll put up here on the screen in a minute. Um, so I did a trip uh, the other weekend um, and um, Sharon was at home and she had the Zolio app installed on her phone. So you don't need, um, the people that get the messages don't need to do anything other than install the Zolio app. Um, she got a nice little map with um, points. I had, I had it set to one hour intervals. So every hour she got a, a message pinging my exact location on the map and then it shows a breadcrumb trail of, of how we traveled. Now, interestingly, on this particular trap track or trip, I, I had some problems with the car, which is a whole nother story. I seem to keep breaking things. Um, she knew that before I got home because uh, when I got home, I was home early and she said, you had some problems, didn't you? I said, yeah, how'd you know? And she could actually see on the Zolio messages where we'd started down a track and then we seemed to turn around and come back because that's exactly what we did. Um, so yeah, look, um, overall, I'm very happy with the purchase of this. Um, I'm very happy with what you get for what you pay. Um, I would recommend that you get one. Um, the fact that it allows pretty easy communication via the satellite network, so basically anywhere you can see the sky, um, is just awesome. Um, I guess in two situations, if you've got close friends or family that want to know that you're okay and how you're doing when you're on a trip and from the perspective of if you get into trouble on a trip and you need to be able to reach out and contact somebody you can at the very least do so via this app so um, I guess to me this is the big difference between an EPIRB and something like this um, is the EPIRB is really designed for use in life-threatening situations whereas you know if you find yourself stuck and you can't recover, you can use the Zolio to uh, to solve that problem, reach out to somebody and, and, and try and get some help when it's a non-life-threatening situation. So yeah, overall guys, really happy with the Zolio purchase. Um, again, shout out to Dave uh, for recommending that I get one of these, pretty happy with it. Um, and um, yeah, look forward to using it on trips to come. So. As always, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please like this video if you liked it. Uh, subscribe to the channel, that always helps. Um, really appreciate all the new subscribers to the channel. We've already had 50 more since uh, the 500 subscriber video. So thank you to all those new members of the channel and um, look forward to seeing you in the next one.